Hello and welcome back to Drams for Dummies. I am, of course, the numero uno dummy, Brett. And today, um, you know what? I've just been thinking a lot about recently how, and I've been finding myself making comments to people in the chats and the things um, about that really nothing's worth paying over uh, MSRP and nothing's really worth the secondary prices. And let's let's argue about it. Like in the comment, like just right now. First of all, number one, hit the like button. Number two, hit the subscribe button, and then throw a comment down and tell me a bottle that you believe is worth paying over MSRP, is worth paying secondary prices for, and then tell me why. And I, there's no right or wrong answer to this. All of our palettes are different. All of our budgets are different. But in my belief as a poor idiot and and someone who's drank a fair amount of the bourbons and the whiskeys um I, I have a few that i absolutely love and i'm so glad that i have them and once i have them i'm not sad that i've paid what i paid for them but if I'm going to put them head to head with other things that are comparable with improve and age and mash bill and all that, there's no way that they're worth what that sometimes I've paid for them. So I've stopped doing that. I've stopped that game. So I'm of the mindset that you can get as good or better uh, bourbon and whiskeys, you know, in different bottles with different labels, maybe than you can by chasing the thing, you know, chase, you have that FOMO and chasing the, 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 the Buffalo Trace products and the BTAX and all these things that you're just never going to see on your shelves, at least not until the, the, the market balance is out. So I thought, you know what, I've done a couple of things like this before, um, some on the channel, some not on the channel, and I thought, let's just, um, you know, do a blind and see if I'm correct in my thinking when it comes to these bottles right here and you and if you if you've already eyeballed them you see a couple that stand out as those unicorn type bottles for a lot of people right um one because they're from the buffalo trace distillery and it, i think it, it, you know for those of us that have been in the game a while i mean are you still chasing buffalo cherry stuff because it is so overhyped and so overpriced for what you're getting and maybe this blind will absolutely blow my mind and, and, and make a, a full liar out of me. I've not done this in advance of the shoot, so you guys are with me for the first time doing this. I just, I'm just of the belief, having had all four of these, that I'm not going to be able to tell, and I'm not good enough because I'm, I'm a dummy. I'm not the Matt Porter or Jason C of Mash and Drum or Josh and Aaron or Cam or, you know, any of these people, you know, uh, that can that can taste and know the distillery. So this blind is great for you to watch me do. This is this is as real as it can get for us because a lot of people would go, well, that's definitely Buffalo Trace. Well, then in this lineup, there's two of them or that's definitely Heaven Hill. Well, there's one of them. Right. So if you can pull Mash Bill off off of your palate, then this isn't as fun. I can't pull that, um, at least not yet. So for me, this is completely as genuine as this can get. Um, we've got the E.H. Taylor. I mean, the small batch in and of itself is like what, 45 bucks or whatever MSRP or 40 bucks MSRP. And that's something you can't hardly find anymore. And it's just a basic bottle, but it's like it's a unicorn now and it's like allocated and it's hard to find. This is the single barrel, which is that step up, right? Uh, so same mash bill, but a single barrel version. I mean, you know, you can't go, you cannot deny how beautiful the bottle is, how cool the label is with like the raised embossing, the cardboard tube. Like, so to, to have this in my collection, I'm super happy to have it because it's cool looking. First of all, I mean, it's a good authentic bottled and bond type product. It feels old school. It feels legitimate. So I, I think I paid a little bit over MSRP, but because of, again, local connections and shopping at your one store, shout out Bubbles, you know, I was able to get my hands on this and not pay maybe but a few bucks more than MSRP, maybe 5% or whatever, 10%, whatever their, hey, it's a good bottle markup is. But that's a great bottle. But I think it's a great, it's, so 
again, this is a $60 MSRP, and I, a lot of you don't even know that because let me. I just I took a couple of notes here. If you're going to try to get this on secondary, you're paying about 160 probably. You're paying like 120 for the small batch. You're paying 160 to 200 for this guy, the single barrel. Okay, so that's again. Is it, is it a great bottle at 60? Is it a good bottle at 60? Is it an average bottle at 60? Um, is it worth 160, 200, right? So that's what today is gonna kind of go through with us. The next one in our line is the Rock Hill Farm single barrel. So that's a bottle and bond 100 proof. This is a single barrel, but it's also 100 proof, okay? Um, these are their two different mash bills of Buffalo Trace, right? This is the same mash bill as Blanton's. And then this is what, you know, the high rye or whatever. Um, it's, you know, I don't know. Buffalo Trace has the two mash bills. But if you look at them, it's like one's 10% rye and one's 12% rye. It's, it's I don't know. Th that subtle difference, I guess, makes a, makes a difference. I don't know. Um, I believe, if and correct me if I'm wrong, this is something like, you know, six to nine years the single barrel, same thing with this one, okay? So then you have the Heaven Hill bottle to bottle. Oh, I'm sorry. This is also uh, this is also a $60 um, um, MSRP, the Rock Hill Farms, and it goes for up to $270 or more on secondary. So now you've got this is the this is the jewel. This is the new one in my lineup. I, I just acquired this recently. Uh, shout out Bubbles and. Uh, and it, I have, I've had a little bit of it. I think it's pretty darn good. But in my first drink, and not, I didn't do a review of it online, but my first drink, I was like, it's fine. But it certainly didn't go, oh, my God, that's a $270 bottle. That competes with some of my best things I own. There's no way, okay? But we're going to see tonight, right? So then you have the Heaven and Hill Bottled and Bond. It's a seven-year age-dated product. Um, it's been in some of my videos uh, it's a solid, solid, solid pour. It's anywhere from forty bucks is the MSRP, but people pop, jump, you know, they pump it up in the stores. You'll find it for forty-five, fifty-five, sixty. There's not really a whole lot of secondary on this anymore. These are starting to these are starting to become a lot more prevalent. Um, it depends on your market, but around here we didn't see them for a long time, and now they're like cases and cases of them. So there's not really a secondary market for this. So this is a great. Comparison bottle, same about age range, same uh, proof, and uh, you know, also kind of hard to attain at one point, but never really got that secondary hype, and now is more common, uh, but is ab absolutely a, a, a comparable bottle. And this one right here, first of all, you know, I'm Ben Holiday, ride or die. This is if in your if you're seeing these in your market, then this is the bottle you see on your shelf. This in the soft red wheat. This is the bottle and bond hundred proof. It's got a six year age to age statement on this one, and some of them are starting to have a seven year. But that's kind of those are kind of rare. If you see it, snag it because they're not going to they're going to kind of stay on this six year for the bottle and bond product. But this one came directly from the distillery. I did a tasting with Kyle. You're never going to see it because I screwed it up. And I've burned all my bridges with Holiday, but I've messed up the recording. It was the best interview ever. He autographed the bottle. I then dropped it in the parking lot, but it didn't break. Where's the scuff on it? There's the scuff. But this bottle beat two of the Rickhouse proofs, older Rickhouse proofs. And I'm a, I'm a proof whore. So for this bottle to have beat it says a lot. Actually, it beat one of them, and then, the, and then it got middle. It got second. But when I looked at it when I got home, this thing is darn near seven years. They can't put a seven-year age statement on it, but it's like six years and nine or ten months. So this is almost a seven years. So basically, let's just say we have four seven years-ish. We have 400 proofers, also a $60 MSRP, okay? So we have four bottles, $60 MSRPs. Two of them you can find one way or another, whether it's on the shelf or you can go online and get them easily for MSRP. Two of them, good luck finding them. You're never going to see them on the shelf. And if you do, they're going to be jacked way up. You got to know somebody. You got to be that awesome patron, you know, at the store. You got to win a raffle or you got to go on secondary and spend 165 to 200, 270 to 300. That is an, a lot of intro. Sir Justin, uh, who is the reason I'm doing this channel, said, hey, man, when you're doing these big blinds, um, you, you take way too long. 
and can you just get to it? We just want to hear the results. And I told him I was going to say this earlier in the in the uh, episode, but I do chapters, right? So there's ta- there's timestamps on this, and if you look on your player, you can click ahead anytime on any of my videos now, because I know I'm long-winded. And so some of you like the banter. You want all of my personality and all of my dumb perspective. Some of you are like, oh, cool. Uh, he's, he's comparing these four bottles. What's the results? Click, 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 click. Just click click ahead or look at the chapters and just jump over to uh, bottle scores and breakdowns, right? For those of you that don't jump ahead because you aren't as big of, as in big of a hurry as, and, and his time isn't as precious as it is to my friend Justin, um, I will tell you about my music today because I know you care. If you hear it in the background, I was like, you know, I, I like to theme it out, right? So I was like, I put in overpriced uh, for my Spotify um, search, and this playlist came up, and I don't know if I can see what it's called now. Yeah, it is. Oh, <laughs> overpriced burnt coffee. And I can't see uh, what the gentleman's name is on that screen. Uh, Scotty Carmel. Scotty Carmel had the top rated or top positioned playlist on Spotify for uh, overpriced. And it's overpriced burnt coffee, which I don't 100% know what he's going for because... The, the mix is awesome. Like, the mix is smooth and, and, and easy and soulful. So I'm not sure where the overpriced burnt coffee connects to that. But it kind of connects to this because sometimes you get that burnt note, that coffee note, right? So, so are we going to get that out of our mix? Uh, uh, but I also can tell you that in my opinion, before I taste them, we have two that are severely overpriced for what you can get them. Right priced, probably great priced at at manufactured at manufactured uh, suggested retail. All four of these, I think, would all day long. If you see them at sixty dollars, you should pick up any of these. Uh, if you haven't had them or don't, you know, if you haven't had them or don't have them on your shelf right now, get all of those. Now, then the question is going to be, which one's the best of the four? That's number one. The second one is. Do these, if, if these are one and two, which they darn well better be, are they twice as good as these two? So are these going to get nines and these are going to get 4.5s? That ain't going to happen. That is not going to happen. Let's say worst case scenario, worst case scenario, these two get sevens and these two get nines, okay? Which would be great. That means these two are top shelf, and they maybe are worth a little more than these two. But then you got to go both. But are they twice as good? They're not going to be. Spoiler alert. Stop chasing. Spoiler alert. Don't chase. Buy the crap that's on the shelves. Go find the smaller distilleries that you haven't heard of before. Look at what you know you like. Do I like 100 uh, you know, is, is 100 proof my jam? Is 8, 7, 9, 6 years my jam? Is 120 proof my jam? Is single barrels my jam? Is store, what, what, figure out what you, do I like wheat? Do I like rice? Do I like, malt, you know, single malts? Whatever your thing is, that's what you go for and get the one you can get. I'm all worked up now. God. Krung Bin and Leon Bridges with Texas Sun are going to try to mellow me out before I drink. Justin, that's a lot. I, I'm excited to be back at recording. It's been a minute. I like this this setup we got. I'm excited to try this. I want to see how it scores out. So enough of the exposition. Let me get a drink of water and let's rock and roll. <sighs> Plus, at some point, Aaron's going to probably walk in, ruin everything. All right, let me give myself a little space here. These have all been pre-mixed, but in case you're worried... And you want me to mix some more. Let me whoop, 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 whoop. I need Matt's Julie-like wheel of confusion. Although every time he does that, I am like, that dude's gonna drop those someday. I would absolutely I mean that's a heavy looking thing by itself. It's got a, it spins and he's got glasses on it that that I mean ugh. I it gives me a panic attack every time he's spinning those glasses around. Alright, here we go. Teddy swims, lose control. Ooh, I lose control. Oh, oh, oh. I didn't know who I didn't. I didn't know Teddy swims, but I know the song. All right, here we go. Ooh, 
smooth, sweet, syrupy, not super complex. You know, a lot of times you're going to get that with the with the hundred proof, but you know, with six to eight to nine to whatever years old in these, you know, you can get more layers. There's kind of that that cherry cough syrup, almost a grapiness. It's so like a dark cherry. It's really nice, but it's 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 basic ish, but it's nice. Let's just go. Let's try to go fast. <laughs> Seven point five. I think what I'm going to feel a lot in this one is basic, real, genuine, good bourbon, right? I mean, the distillers here, Buffalo Trace, Heaven Hill, and Holiday, who's doing it every bit the same and as well as the Kentucky guys, the same way, the same styles, the same limestone water, the same terroir, the same climate. To me, they go right with the legacies. That drink was just, it didn't like, it didn't have a lot going on. It was fairly one note, but it was really nice. It was really caramely. It was just basic bourbon with a little bit of weight in it. Like, so it wasn't like watery and light and thin and weak. It was like a robust basic bourbon. And then the finish kind of, it was fine. It didn't do anything offensive at all, but it kind of fell off a little bit. Um, I'm kind of feeling like the palette stays at a 7.5 and the finish goes at a 7. I may come back and change all that jazz. I'm not going to cleanse. Let's just keep it rolling. Justin, I'm trying to speed up for you. I, I don't know how long it's been. I'm probably at least 15 in. So let's see. A lot less on that cherry. A lot, a little bit more of that, of that sweet caramel corn. A easier, smoother, but still got a viscousy, rich nose, but much more like mellow caramel, mellow corn, mellow, mellow corn. Hey, maybe it's a Heaven Hill. That'd be, hey, remember if glass two is Heaven Hill and I said mellow corn, it was just accidental. It's a light, light nose. I got to really kind of get into that glass to get it, but I like it. Hmm. One's got more punch. I might have shorted one a little bit on the nose. I'm going to take one just to an eight because I feel like this is a 7.5. It's, it's, it's nice, but the fact I can, and I am a little bit, I do have some congestion going. So the fact I have to like almost inhale as hard as I can and like it's not giving, it's, it's nice and it's easy, but it's not giving me a lot. Let me see if I take a drink with it that does something different. Whew, made myself dizzy. I think that's what's going to happen on all four of these. I think. I think. Nice. Easy. Fairly simple. Fairly one note. Finish kind of falls off because it's 100 proof. Not a lot of complexity. But it was nice. But again, it's the same every time I come back to it, which I don't love. That's lacking that complexity. But it's really solid. And I'm questioning now between this and number one. These are all going to be so similar. I feel like I'm kind of splitting hairs now. I'll take this up back to up an eight. I'm, I'll let everybody go to an eight. Let's see what the let's see what the palette and the finish does for me. Kind of chocolatey and rich in the palette. Um, very smooth. Really easy. Nothing offensive. The finish is a little flat on the front of it. Kind of feels like it's not doing a lot in it, but it kind of has a nice has a nice finish down here. Nice Kentucky hug. Kind of warm finish there. Um, I feel like these are all just going to be like really solid and good and, and middling. I don't know what to do with that one. I kind of think I might take that to an eight palette. I think I'm just going to make it a hair better than number one. I don't know. We'll see. How we doing? What are you guys drinking out there? You drinking one of these? 
Let me know in the comments what you're what you've been what's the last what are you drinking right now or what's the last thing that you drank that maybe you think would compare with these or what are your thoughts on these? Whatever. Just give me your thoughts at this moment. And again, if you haven't hit the like button, please do that. If you haven't um, you know, watched more of our stuff, I appreciate you for being here. Uh, watch more of them. If you're liking them, share it with your other dumb whiskey drinking friends. We use the term dumb affectionately, by the way. And uh, yeah, subscribe. Make sure you do that for us. We, do, we definitely need to get the thing, get the momentum rolling forward on this thing if we want to keep it going. So help us out, everybody. All right, let's see. Number three. Different. Very bright. My eyebrows need a trim. I can, like, see them, the light coming through them. Man, my big bushy brows. It's time for a haircut. Notice that shagginess. Sorry, distracted. Charlie Crockett. In the night. This one's got, that, um, I picked a nutty note out of this, which might make this the Heaven Hill. Kind of that chocolate caramel nut cluster, which I like, which is nice. Hmm, yeah, I like that. This is kind of doing a little bit more than the first two, I feel like. I feel like it's given that oak and that depth. Of, of, of that kind of age and, and richness, but still also kind of given the sweet and a little bit of that bright, but it's balanced out really nicely. There's also a little bit of fruit in there I like. I kind of like that. I'm going to go 8.5. Okay, personally... Still kind of one note. Very, it matches a lot of these, but, and I'm looking at this one too, if you can't see it probably, but the legs on this are, I mean, nuts. And maybe they were on these too and I just wasn't paying attention, but I mean, this one, viscous. This one, when it gets into my into the mouth, it's doing what I like it to do as it kind of rolls, as I roll it around in there before I swallow it. And I'm not bringing the air in. That's a trick. Don't bring any air in there. But I... It still starts to do things in the mouth, right? It starts to light up a little bit. starts to, like, you can taste it even without the oxygen and swallowing. And so you're like, ooh, that's fun. And then, like, as you swallow it down, it does. It, it kind of lights up and goes. There's a little bit more ride, a little bit more fun in the palate. That continues on through the finish. Probably the spiciest finish of them so far. Um, and the longest running finish so far. So this is the most fun of, to drink. These both so far, especially two, kind of felt like rich and nice and, and sweet and, and, and basic, but solid. Kind of that just non-offensive, sit around a campfire, don't want to really think about it, just have a bourbon in your glass. This third number three feels like it's trying, it's doing a little bit more. It's giving you a little bit more of an experience. And I like that quite a bit. I'm going to go 8.5 and 8. And I, these might change, of course. All right. What we got now? Mac DeMarco, <clears throat> My Old Man, from his album This Old Dog. All right. Number four. I feel like three and four are both kind of um, a little bit more punchy than one and two, but I, maybe I'm just kind of getting... Maybe I'm getting into a different groove here. It also feels like it could be the darkest. It's got some nice legs. Again, fairly one note, but it's nice. A little bit more kind of a burnt, um, kind of almost a smokiness in this one. Um, yeah, yeah, smoky, very smoky. I'm trying to go somewhere else with it. I mean, without saying all the other things, but it's, it's, it is it, like everybody else. It's traditional. It's a traditional bourbon. It's nice. It definitely has that sweetness. Almost like it's more of like um maybe it's like a creme brulee because it's got that creaminess in there, but that burnt sugar top is super burnt. Like it's like which I actually kind of like it when it's like a thick layer and it's real pretty charred. This is nice. Okay, same thing. It felt like it got in the palate, started to do some things, but this one felt like it was kind of sizzling and, and spicy with, before, you know, just right in the early part. 
This one felt like it was just immediately like coating the mouth and sweet and easy. And then the finish kind of had a little pepper sizzle. So that's kind of fun because this one kind of had a couple of change of directions. Um, fairly rich and smoky in the nose, sweet in the palate, turns into kind of a peppery finish. So kind of the only one that's got like three different, you know, twists and turns in it, which is, which is fun. I give that a lot of points. It's a little astringent. It's a little ethanol-y burny, but it's like not bad. It's like, it, it's just, it's a little, it's a, a little bit of, it's enough to kind of make me go maybe not like as high as I want to go with it. Maybe not a nine. I'll give it an 8.5. That drink was way less eventful than the first one. That was more kind of up here, like sweet, viscous, easy, caramel, little chocolate, but kind of basic, kind of one note, not doing a lot in the palate. A little bit more sizzle and fun in the finish, but not as much as before. Eight and eight, I don't know. Okay, let me do 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 do. Let's go, let's get the results here. So, what did I say at the beginning? We're all gonna be very close to each other. We're not gonna, we're gonna have 9.5s and 6.5s? Probably not, but maybe. We weren't gonna have twice as bad or twice as good as, as each other. We have a number of glass, one is a 7.7, .7. glass two is a 7.7, .7. glass three is an 8.2, half point different, and glass four is an eight. So, the, the biggest spread is half point between this one and these two, and then this one kind of sits in the middle somewhere. So these two are the top, but out of all of these, only one of them would be top shelf. So let's see what we got here. Glass one is E.H. Taylor small batch. I mean, I'm sorry, single barrel. 7.7. .7. This is, people are paying $160 to $200 for that. Whatever. Glass two. Rock Hill Farms. 7.7. .7. Rock Hill Farms, 7.7, .7. not a top shelf. People are paying $270 to $300 for that. Stop it. This is my, my favorite bottle. Glass three is glass A. That's crazy because this has never, this has been close. I will say, I feel like it's been in this kind of facility before. 8.2 would make this a top shelf. It had an eight nose, eight and a half palette, eight finish. Just, and it really kind of stayed there. It was always like really well thought out and really nice. You can find this all day long for 40, $60 max. Aaron's home, trying to finish this GD video, which means the holiday got the eight. So, and at one point it had an eight on the finish, which means this would have been top shelf. At the very end, I knocked it down a half. So if I was feeling more generous, this would be top shelf. So what does this tell us? It confirms that when you see similar MSRP, similar age, same uh, proof, we're probably gonna be very close to being the same in our flavor profiles and in our, in our overall experiences, because they know what they have. That's why they priced it here. They priced it, they're pricing this at 60 for a reason. They're pricing this at 60 for a reason. But for some reason in this crazy market, We've now decided this is almost a $200 bottle and this is almost a three or 400 or whatever, $300 bottle. Like, it's cuckoo. Like, let, just stop chasing these. Go get this one because they need your love. Go get this one. They don't really need your love by any stretch of the imagination, but they're doing good stuff and they're putting it out there in mass and you can get it for cost. Matter of fact, out of all of them, this is probably the one you can get for the cheapest and probably the most readily available across, you know, wherever you're watching this. So... That was an adventure. If you're still here for this, thank you so much for being here. 
Thank you for watching. Again, hit the like, hit the subscribe, share with the other dumb friends that like this kind of kooky bananas talk. The the, the friends that among you that would go, yeah, we're not going to overpay for 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 brown water in a glass when we can go get the same brown water in a glass from somebody else at today at the liquor store like that, that's the kind of dummies we are we're the smartest dummies out there right so share with them appreciate you guys love what you're doing as long as what you're doing is being a fan and, and patron and supporter of this channel have a great night or day or morning or afternoon or whenever you're watching this bye